Sometimes we might be tempted or distracted by something or someone that looks good or fun. It's great to know how we can find our way back to Heavenly Father's covenant path by focusing on Christ. He'll always show the way. I think I'm starting to understand better. Jesus Christ sets an example for how to live so we can be ready to enter into the house of the Lord. Hi kiddos, I'm here to help. Ready to learn more about temples? Hi Grandma, we're ready. I'm curious. I know temples are pretty buildings, but I don't know much about what happens on the inside. The house of the Lord is a wonderful reminder that we're all children of God and he has glorious plans for everyone who follows Jesus Christ. I want to show you something. Meet me over by the temple model. I'll be there faster than you can say, Heavenly Father's plan of happiness. Heavenly Father's plan of happiness. What I tell you, <laughs> I still got it. What do you think of this temple model? There are so many rooms. Mm -hmm. And each one has a special purpose. We can worship our Heavenly Father, learn more about His plan of happiness, and we can make sacred promises with Him, and He makes sacred promises with us. What kind of promises do we make? We make promises or covenants that we will try to be more like Him, follow His plan for us, and be part of his family forever. So that's why temples are part of the covenant path. Yes. Jesus taught that there are certain promises that everyone must make to be able to live with Heavenly Father again. And the first promise is at baptism. We learned about the promises of baptism in our last episode. Some of our ancestors didn't have the opportunity to be baptized and confirmed by someone who holds the priesthood while they were still alive in the temple. We can be baptized and confirmed for them. <laughs>